Hello and welcome to the captain's top five must-haves for cruising. And these are not the obvious. I mean, some of them are obvious, like lines and fenders in a boat, but... Yeah. Just... We're going to go a little bit more obscure. So item number one on the captain's top five, they must have favorites, cool things, something like that, is my tiny little pressure washer. <laughs> my tiny little pressure washer. Sorry. Is made by Craftsman. There are a couple of them out there. I found mine on a large website that you can order from and things get magically delivered to you. And it is a low pressure PSI, which is just enough. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing my imaginary tiny. To clear the grime off of the deck of the boat without destroying the boat. And you can do some upholstery items with it without ripping. So it's just a good pressure and to get things clean. It's small and so it's compact and it's a plug-in. Don't have to mess with gas on the boat. So that is number one. Tiny little pressure washer by Craftsman in this case. And kids can use it because it's low pressure. And Rex and Belle have used it to earn a little boat money. So they have enjoyed doing it for chores. So it's just a great all-round cleaning tool. And once again, it reduces the use of solvents, chemicals, and soaps that are going into the ocean because the water pressure gets all the grime off. So I think that's good. Number two is a hand-operated bilge pump. I mean, I'd put this one at number one because we've used the heck out of this thing. Yes, so this is something you would find at West Marine. You can find them at Walmart, but the West Marine one in boat supply places are gonna have a bigger one. What's great about it, it requires no electricity. All it requires is two arms that go in a reverse motion and it sucks out any water that you may have. We've used it in the bilge. We've had to use it in the toilets. Um, in the chicken tender. In the chicken tender to bail it out. So it's just a good all round mm -hmm. useful tool and safety item to have. Yeah. And it's and super it's cheap. The batteries are never going to run out. You don't have to worry if it was plugged in or not. I've been, I've used a shop back that we have to do some stuff and it is much quicker, but this thing always works. Number three on the captain's must have for cruising is collapsible bucket. It can be used for bailing out a tender. It can be used mostly in the engine room. So you're always dealing with dripping oil and diesel fuel. Like in the instance of changing a oil filter, when you're unscrewing it, that oil's gonna go everywhere. So a large plastic bucket, you can't get in weird spots. The one that I have, which this mechanic said, get you one of these, is this pink collapsible thing and you can flex it and bend it up in the, into the space and it'll capture all the oil. So. That's but just but a you've got the have. pink flexible bucket and a uh, five gallon bucket that we've that we've used that five gallon bucket for all sorts of stuff. We yes. found it when we first moved on. We the could boat subdivide in that into a small flexible one, <laughs> and any large retailer home you just good need a, store you need a bucket on board is going to have a five gallon bucket, and I actually have three of them because you can just always use them, and they stack into one another. So when you're not using them, you have 15 gallons of storing whatever you need to store in there that's all tightly compact. Oh, I didn't know you had three now. And I haven't paid for any of them. Oh. Well, I have. Well, I bought the oil, and the oil, I'm not going to throw away that nice five-gallon bucket. Gotcha. Okay. Number four on the captain's must-have for cruising is binoculars. <laughs> she has to give me a hint. <laughs> A good pair yeah. of binoculars. You can go super nuts so crazy on stabilized you night vision, all sorts of things like that, but they're up on flutters. The ones that we have are middle of the row, what were they, $500 or so, and... I don't even know if they were that much. I'll look it up. And they are just super clear. They're autofocus. I don't know how that works. It's not any motor or battery. There are no batteries involved, but it's always focused for me and you, and you have different vision than I do, right? So um, they're, they're super great to look through. They're fantastic. Other loopers have borrowed them and, and immediately bought. Commented. Well, they bought their own pairs because they're a great middle of the road binocular. We have other binoculars that we don't use. We only use this one pair yep. that's our fave. So the ones that we have are, they are autofocus, they are floating, and they are anti-fog. Those are really the only thing that it does, but they're just super clear and they're bigger. They're just good and easy to use. Okay, number five. And hold on. Oops. They're 
dollars right now. Three hundred and seventeen dollars. We'll probably put a link down below. Oh yeah, we'll link all of this down below. But yeah, three hundred seventeen dollars. Who are they? Stein, Steiner. They are Steiner binoculars. Yeah. We're not paid by Steiner. No. Oh, if you want to send I, us some more binoculars, we'll take them. <laughs> I research. I, there's one thing you should know about me, if you don't already. I research the heck out of things. Um, and she researched the heck out of me before she married years, me. Nine and she years. missed a lot of things. So not all of her research <laughs> I is perfect. I'm a geek. And I like to research things and find the, the best bang for the buck and everything. And that these are the binoculars that That I was chose. my 50th. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they, they, they've been great. So that's item number four. That was four. Number five is random. It really doesn't help you cruise. It doesn't provide safety, but it's super fun to have and it's been super convenient. And it is a iPhone waterproof case. It is basically two pieces that you put together. It has an O-ring, keeps the water out. I'm using an old iPhone because I don't want to use my brand new one in case anything happens but it allows you we to don't fully trust it but so far it's worked great <laughs> you put your phone in there and it turns the your iphone which is super easy to use and easy to download pictures from and all that stuff um into an underwater camera up to about i think it said 10 feet but i've had the footage it footage is better than our actual underwater camera it's better than our GoPro. well i was trying not to say GoPro. well it's better than our knockoff GoPro. i was trying it's not better to than our knockoff active camera so it's good for underwater footage but it's also great when we're in the tender I put it in there and it's just a waterproof case and I'm playing Bluetooth music through a waterproof speaker so it's just kind of come become this I put the old phone in there and it's ready to go water active mm -hmm. there you have it so that is it so basically you can turn your current iPhone or an old iPhone into an underwater camera I think this thing was less than $50 so um, that was a good buy Excellent. All right. Okay, so that's your top five. Those are my top fives. So, and our next top five list will be from the kiddos. They have they have opinions too. So stay tuned for kiddos top five list coming soon. From our bosun and our first mate, uh, and then I think our cat should do a top five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until then, pick up two pieces of trash for Cinda. If you live in the South, like she says, pick up five because we are not oh, so five, good yeah. at picking up trash in the South. And we should change that. We should set an example. Let's clean our beautiful Southern states up. All right, until then, shine, shine on. on.